how to create a design like this in Photoshop. First thing to do, start with a completely blank document. So file a new and create. It can be any size. Once you've done that, what you need to do is just go over here to the shape tools. Just go to the rectangle tool, make sure it's shape up here and go for fill and just go for very basic gray. With that, simply drag and you can create, of course, any size of rectangle. I'm just gonna go for a nice vertical design like that. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna add a shadow to it. Just want a bit of depth to it. So layer, go to layer style and down here to drop shadow. You can add more than one shadow, of course, as well. There's a plus here. Set the distance, set the size. Once you've done that, once you're happy with that, you can move it around. And I'm just gonna go with that. Click OK. Now I wanna store it as a pattern design. How to do that, just go over here to the layers. This background, don't want that, so just click there. Make certain you can't see it. And then go over here to the rectangular marquee tool, select that, and then just drag across there. And you can obviously select as much as you want. I'm just gonna go for about that. And then go to edit and down to define pattern. That stores it as a way as a pattern preset. And you can then use it in like symmetry patterns, random fills, and much, much more. So define pattern. You can give it a name if you want, don't have to. Just go with pattern 257 and then click OK. Now I don't want that anymore, so deselect that and then click here to bring back the background. Also get rid of the selection, otherwise the fill will be applied just to that area. Then go to edit and just down to fill. The moment you notice I've got the wrong thing selected, that's not gonna be much use, you need to select the background. So select some layers that like shapes and things, you will not be able to apply a fill to. So background, make sure that's selected. Then go to edit and fill. So edit and fill, then go for pattern, click here and go here for the custom pattern. I'm just going with the one that I've just created. Set the script to random fill. You've got a number of options, but random fill is the one I want. And click OK. Set the density to the max. Also set the minimum scale factor to 0.1 and also 1.24, 1, 1 etc. for the maximum. Also, you can set rotate pattern, otherwise it's just gonna be straight lines. And then color randomness, I set to one, and you can also set the brightness to fairly high value as well. And click OK. Now the end result is not the same as the image you just got. But what you can do, you can go to edit and fill, and you repeat it a couple of times. Just click OK, click OK. And you can see as you do it, you fill it up with random lines. Click OK again, and maybe once more. So you've filled up all the space there. Click OK, and OK. So once you've got that, what you can do, you can apply filters to it. Any kind of filter, just go to filter, and the one I'm gonna use is the warp one, or wave one. So distort and wave. That's a really useful one. Of course you could use like liquify to warp it a bit more. But I'm just gonna go for wave, and in Wave, you can set the number of generators. I go with one, I like to set that. I don't like five or six, which is the default. Then you can set the wavelength. I've just gone for here, about 336, 468 for the max, amplitude 255, and max 730. And also you can set wraparound, and also you can randomize. So you can just click it a few times. You can see in the very little preview, the end result, and then sign and click OK and you end up with something like that. And of course you can apply it multiple times if you want. You can go for wave again to create even more extreme images. So let's just quickly zoom in so you can see it. And that is from a very basic straight line or shape, rectangle shape in Photoshop. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Always great to hear from you. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.